Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben, and welcome to Top 5 Fridays. You know what I love? How I Met Your Mother. It's my all-time favourite TV show by a mile. Never have I felt such a strong connection to a group of characters and their stories both individually and as a gang. So when I heard that a new TV series called Rise was premiering, and that it starred How I Met Your Mother's Josh Radner, I figured there was no better time to talk about my favourite episodes of this show. Which is a hard task, but I'm gonna pull it off. Also, before I start, I will be spoiling aspects of some of these episodes, so just be warned going in. Alright, here we go. Number 5. How Your Mother Met Me from Season 9. Yeah, that's right, I have a Season 9 episode on this list. This is the episode in which we get to see the mother's journey through life, starting right off the bat in tragic fashion with the death of her then-boyfriend, Mark. The episode isn't all doom and gloom, though. There are some really sweet moments, some great laughs, callbacks to earlier episodes, and a bunch of teasers as to just how close Ted has come to meeting this girl before. Kristen Milioti gives a wonderful performance in this episode and proves that she can more than hold her own against the rest of the main cast. There's a scene towards the end of the episode in which she's proposed to by a guy she's dating, and she takes a moment to speak to the heavens and ask Mark's permission to move on. She sells the heartbreak and conflict going on in the mother's mind so effectively. This episode has everything. It'll make you cry tears of joy, tears of laughter, and tears of sadness, in the way that only How I Met Your Mother can. Number 4. The Best Burger in New York from Season 4. In this episode, Marshall can't get over a delicious burger he had eaten eight years ago when he and Ted first moved to New York. The pair have been searching for the restaurant for years, but have never been able to find it. But after Robin says she might know where the place they've been searching for all along is, the gang goes on a frantic hunt for the burger. This episode is just so solid in every way. Everyone has hilarious lines, the story is epic in scope, and we get a fantastic cameo from Regis Philbin. I particularly love Jason Siegel in this episode. At this point in the series, Marshall has been unemployed for quite a while. The way Siegel moves and speaks and emotes in this episode really sells the stress of being unemployed and how finding this burger might be the saving grace for his mental state. I love this episode so much, I want to sew my ass shut. I promise that makes sense in reference to the episode, yeah, let's just move on. Number 3, Slap Bet from Season 2. Any list of the best How I Met Your Mother episodes is incomplete without this gem. This is one of the rare episodes in the series that follows just one plotline, with the gang trying to figure out why Robin doesn't go to malls. This all spawns from Marshall and Barney starting a slap bet regarding the reason, with Marshall thinking she got married in a mall, whilst Barney believes she did porn. Which has nothing to do with malls, but Barney's gonna do what Barney does. The episode takes all sorts of twists and turns, with a final reveal that is so ridiculous and amazing that I won't dare spoil it for you in this video. The slap bet that is set up in this episode would continue on to be the longest running gag in the entire series, lasting all the way up until the penultimate episode of the show. On top of all that good stuff, this episode is hilariously written and expertly performed. It's one of the highlights of the earlier seasons. Number 2. The Pineapple Incident from Season 1 Again, this episode is one of those rare ones that follows just one plotline. What the hell did Ted do last night? After Ted gets blackout drunk on specially crafted shots, he and the gang attempt to figure out what exactly Ted got up to during his intoxicated escapades. This episode has an awesome build up throughout, only getting more and more hilarious as it goes on. Since this is the first season, you can really feel the cast giving it their all with their performances, but I need to give props to Josh Radner for this one. His drunk acting is laugh out loud, roll on the damn floor funny, and he portrays Ted's genuine confusion and curiosity throughout the episode flawlessly. It's easily the best episode of season one. But damn it, what about the pineapple? Number one, The Playbook from season five. The fifth season is my favourite of the series, and this episode is a large reason why. In this episode, Robin and Barney are fresh off their breakup. While Robin is once again focusing on her career, Barney dives right back into his old habits with the help of his trusty playbook, which contains literally every trick in Barney's arsenal to score with the ladies. The episode has a different structure to most others, using a lot of cutaway gags to demonstrate various plays from the book, 
all of which are hilarious. The main story of the episode is really good stuff too, with Lily exacting revenge on Barney after he steals a girl who she set up for Ted. It has a good build and a touching ending up until one last final twist that I won't spoil. Neil Patrick Harris is perfect here. Out of all 208 episodes of the show, I picked this one as the prime example of just how versatile a performer the man is. He runs a gauntlet of emotions in this episode and he pulls them all off wonderfully. Although it doesn't have a lot of relevance to the grand scheme of the show's story, this is easily the most entertaining episode of the entire series, and if you don't agree with that, you're a son of a bitch. So that's going to do it for this list. I really wish I could have gone into more detail about these episodes because I have so many more thoughts, but we try to keep Top 5 Fridays short, so it's not going to happen. Regardless, I hope you've enjoyed watching and we'll see you next time. That's a wrap, people.